So you thought people with superpowers only existed in movies and comic books. You clearly have never heard of the ancient Chinese martial art of Shaolin, because masters of this kind of combat are pretty much the ultimate badass superheroes with powers that you will just not believe. Yes! From their unbelievable skills to the crazy things they can do with needles, here's 15 things you didn't know about Shaolin monks. <sighs> Number 15. No one can beat a Shaolin master. Let's kick things off by saying no one can beat a Shaolin master, except maybe another Shaolin master, or maybe two Shaolin masters, but it's not something you can just sign up for and expect results the same day. Oh and no, this is a seriously tough path of spiritual and physical training, which has been unchanged for hundreds of years. After all the grueling tasks you have to perform, you'll probably be looking forward to a day off. Well, that's where I've got bad news. There are no days off. Ever. You train every single day, and it begins at the age of six, so there's really no escaping it. The training pushes young Shaolin wannabes to endure incredible fatigue and pain so they can become amazing warriors. Strength, balance, flexibility, and a lot of meditation are the main practices. After around 10 years, you can be a decent Shaolin warrior, but becoming a true master will take much, much longer. Shaolin's name comes from the temple where it originated in the Henan province some 1,500 years ago, and the Chinese consider all martial arts to have descended from Shaolin, saying all martial arts under heaven originated from Shaolin. So you're ready to get started, but what kind of things will you be able to do when you become a master? Let's find out. Before we go go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Throw needles through glass. Well, we've all been in this situation. Your mortal enemy is a balloon, and you've been chasing the guy down all across town, and then suddenly your balloon nemesis hides right behind a plate of glass. What can you do? He's totally protected behind that. And since guns are pretty much outlawed in China, you are going to have to rely on whatever weapons you can find, like a sewing needle. If you happen to have one of these on you, and also happen to be a Shaolin master, then that balloon is going down. How do you ask? Well, because you will be able to throw that needle right through the glass and burst the balloon, leaving just a small hole where the needle entered behind you. Pretty crazy. All it seems to take is about 1.5 minutes of breathing and warm up, aiming and trying to visualize the needle going right through the glass. And you have a weapon which is almost as effective as a gun. The trick is to throw the needle super hard, and also at a 90 degree angle. Also, make sure the glass isn't too thick and that the balloon is right next to the glass, but when you've got all those things together, you can become a needle point killing machine. Number 13. Drill doesn't break the skin. A lot of Shaolin training is about defense as much as attack, and to have a good defense, you need some decent armor. But at the same time, you also need to be as flexible and free-moving as possible, so dressing up like Robocop is pretty much out of the question. The answer is to work hard on your own skin and make it super resistant, so it's basically a natural leather coat stuck right into your own body. Cool! One monk named Zhao Rui has trained this element to the extreme, and he is able to withstand someone using an electric drill against his temple without even breaking the skin. He can also lie on top of metal spikes and bend an iron bar around his throat. The famous 24-year-old monk has become a celebrity in his home city of Miaozhou, in southwestern China's Shizuan province, famous for his incredible acts of pain resistance and strength. His many years of training began at age 3, and now he has skin which is basically unbreakable. Number 12. Handstand on one finger. 
Handstands on two hands are pretty tough. In fact, there are days where just regular standing is kind of tiring, to be honest. So nice to just slump down in a lazy boy after a long day and get to the important task of reclining, but not for a Shaolin monk. These guys prefer to stand up on just one finger. Doing a handstand on both index fingers is an old Shaolin trick, and we've seen that enough times, but one finger? That's a lot more impressive. A monk named Hal Tark is believed to be the first to have performed this trick in the USA when he demonstrated it 50 years ago in Chicago. To the amazement of the watching crowd, now you can witness this video of the finger skill and still be amazed, because it's one of the craziest tricks in all of Shaolin. In. The monks will spend years just training their fingers, trying to make them as hard as iron. In the Shaolin Temple, they repeatedly finger punch trees to build up the huge strength needed to perform a skill like this. Number 11. Sitting in a squat position with joined hands balanced on two pillars with a sharp bamboo stick just below them and a bowl on their head for two hours. This particular skill is known as the monk pillar skill, and it involves sitting in a squat position with joined hands balanced on two pillars with a sharp bamboo stick just below them and a bowl on their head for two hours. Why? Well, who knows why, to be honest. Maybe they are expecting guests and want to make sure the Doritos are presented in an interesting way. Maybe that would explain the bowl, but maybe not the need for the sharp bamboo stick. If they lean back on that thing, it is going to go right in the butt, and that seems like it might be kind of unpleasant. So they don't lean back, they stay right in place with the bowl on their head and some unbelievably painful burning in their thighs, I would guess. This is just a training method, so you can imagine what the real stuff must be like. Sometimes they replace the bowls with oil lamps, just in case the original setup was getting a little uncomfortable and you wanted to add in some scalp burning heat for a little extra spiciness. Number 10. Running over water. Shaolin existed before physics was really introduced into China as a scientific discipline, and so Shaolin monks sometimes decide to completely ignore physics and carry on like everything is crouching tiger, hidden dragon. In this example, a Shaolin monk did better than Jesus and ran over the surface of water for 118 meters. Okay, he did have a little help in the form of a bunch of boards placed just beneath the water's surface, which made the whole thing somewhat easier. Not that the Chinese government who sponsored this footage care about that. The state atheist country is showing how its monks are doing what JC would do, only faster. Still having the boards there doesn't mean that this is easy, just easier than if they weren't. Believe me, running across water like that is pretty damn difficult. And he did it all for charity, which is another Another thing that Jesus thought was a good idea. So, these two have yet another thing in common. It's a pretty cool trick and the result of many years of hard work and training. And who knows, maybe one day it might become an Olympic event. We could call it waterboarding. Number 9. Iron Palm in Shaolin, a lot of training time goes into hitting hard objects in an effort to strengthen bones and skin. This practice is known as Tai Sha Zhang, and this translates as Iron Palm. It is considered controversial as the constant hitting actually causes microfractures, which then heal and are supposedly stronger after each small healing process has taken place. This can result in thicker bones, and this conditioning is practiced by many Shaolin masters. However, some teachers of martial Martial arts have said the practice is dangerous. and can cause damage to blood vessels, cause damage to nerves, and weaken the skeleton overall due to multiple fractures. The method is usually to take a sack of sand, beans, gravel, or ball bearings, and repeatedly hit the bag in drills, which will cause pain to the knuckles or palm. But over time, the pain will reduce, and calluses will build up, allowing for much stronger palms. Iron palms, in fact, which will be awesome if you ever need to give someone a super satisfying slap, or need to tackle that pickle jar from the East European deli that will just not open under any normal circumstances. Number 8. Breaking an iron bar with your head. 
Iron Palm is cool for a lot of stuff, but maybe you want to go full Black Sabbath and become an all-out Iron Man. You'll need to make sure you have an iron head, and there's no better way to test if you have managed to train your head to become iron than breaking an iron bar over it. Don't try this at home, kids. The training begins with the monk wrapping their head in silk cloth and then hitting it on a wall a few times a day. Softly at first, otherwise you're gonna end up with a brain injury and that's not good. As you might imagine, this begins to harden the top of the head the back of the head, and the forehead. Gradually, the number of blows per day increases, as does the force of the blows. After one year, the silk wrap begins to be reduced, with three layers removed every 100 days. Once all the layers have been removed, the next stage of training begins. They bang their heads against stone, against other monks' heads, and then they begin to try and break stone slabs, as well as sleeping in headstand position. Finally, the bones in the entire head will be compacted, strengthened and reshaped, allowing the master to break an iron bar with his skull. Number 7. Praying in Boiling Oil if this sounds like it would be uncomfortable, then, well, yeah, it is. It's pretty uncomfortable. But the Shaolin monks train their ki so much that they are able to perform incredible acts of discipline, such as praying in boiling oil. Prayer and meditation are just as important as all the physical training, and failing to develop the ki, which is the inner calm that comes from breathing practices and meditation, will result in disappointing results on the physical side. One way of testing concentration and discipline is to start praying in a vat of oil, and then have the temperature slowly increased until it gets all the way to boiling. With proper self-discipline, a monk in prayer can focus on staying calm and miraculously emerge from the oil uninjured, where normal people would have all their skin fall off and die before coming out looking like a Scottish Mars bar. Maybe this is a true miracle, maybe it's a trick, maybe it's a result of more than that insane Shaolin training, but one things for sure. I'm not gonna try this one out for myself. Number 6. Shaolin Monkey Fist Shaolin Monkey Fist is a special form of Shaolin fighting, and it makes use of monkey-like movements to intimidate and defeat an opponent. Would you like to fight a man-sized monkey? that not. In fact, there are several different kinds of monkey-based kung fu, and while they have some differences, there are some essentials you will need to learn if you want to fight like a monkey. A lot of throat, groin, and eye strikes are used, as are tumbling and falling techniques. One style is even known as Drunken Monkey, so you will be fighting like a chimpanzee which has been going hard on the bourbon all night. You'll basically turn into Mickey Rourke, in other words. Some of the monkey styles involve training a specific area of the body to be like iron, and then leaving it exposed so the enemy will try to attack it. But it is your strongest spot, and it means your opponent has fallen into your trap, and you can now put a banana in his eye, or whatever the next part is. Number 5. Diamond Fingers so you've trained all your body parts to be like iron, but that's still not enough. You need to train them to be even harder, as hard as the hardest thing in the world, diamond. How are you gonna do this? Well, the answer is, of course, by doing a lot of crazy stuff for a really long time, such as jamming your fingers into huge bowls of sand over and over again. Then you might want to run them through what seems to be a giant iron mangle, which is normally used for pressing the water out of clothes. In fact, my grandma had one of those, and us kids were told to definitely not put our fingers in it. Maybe they just didn't want us to develop crazy diamond fingers. There is, of course, a risk of injury from this kind of training, but that is balanced by the incredible gains you can make over time in tendon, joint, and bone strength. It's best, as always, to learn from a master who can guide you through step by step. Number 4. Little Monks 
As we mentioned earlier, Shaolin training starts extremely young, and you can see these adorable monks, aged around six years old, showing off their amazing balance and flexibility as they head on their way to become superpower killing machines in just a few short years. This footage was taken at the Shaolin School of Buddhism in Dengfeng County, Henan Province, and these children are already being put through their paces as they hope to become masters in future. Monk master Yan Wan said, that although the training was very tough, if they could overcome these small difficulties and setbacks, they can suffer anything when they grow up. The warrior monks are not the only monks present at the 5th century monastery. There are also scholar monks who spend most of their time in meditation, hoping to achieve enlightenment, according to the principles of Chan Buddhism. And it's these little guys who will keep this amazing tradition alive into the future. As we live in an increasingly destabilized world, there can be few better places to spend the next 40 years or so than here. Number 3. Drunk Lila Skill The Drunk Lila Skill is all about the monk playing like he's drunk. This is a pretty amazing form of deception, since your opponent will think he's getting into an easy fight with a drunk guy and will have no trouble beating you. Only it's all an act, and you really are a stone-cold sober killing machine. Because Shaolin monks never drink, they just learn to mimic the actions of someone who drinks too much, so they can incorporate it into their fighting style and utilize the element of surprise. The way the skill is taught is by lifting up heavy water cans and moving them around like a drunk person. This teaches unusual forms of balance and agility, which can look like the complete opposite. Eventually, the idea is to grab hold of your opponent and squeeze them to death, a skill which is learned by the monks spending many years grabbing onto a tree trunk and trying to lift it out of the ground. So if a Shaolin monk ever wants to give you a hug, tell him you're fine with just waving. Number 2. Pain Tolerance Using Qigong, the monks can develop special methods of breathing which can turn their bodies into suits of armor. And with this skill, they can withstand blows from all kinds of objects, even sharp ones like swords. The training is crazy extreme at times, like in those scenes in Kill Bill where Uma Thurman has to carry all that water up a mountain and all that kind of stuff. That wasn't just Quentin Tarantino making it up, he had done his research, that's for sure. In in fact, there have been a lot of movies about Shaolin over the years, because people cannot get enough of these badass monks with amazing pain tolerance. There was even one about Shaolin soccer, which seems kind of weird as soccer stars seem to have almost zero pain tolerance, judging by the amount of time soccer games seem to involve watching a guy roll around on the floor like he's been shot before getting back up like nothing is wrong. That is not very Shaolin. Neymar would have been eaten a live in one of these training camps, I'm pretty sure. Number 1. Iron Crotch as all men will know, there's that one part of the body that is just kind of the worst place to get hit. Even if you are facing a Shaolin monk in a fight, if you can plant a swift kick in the balls before he knows what's happening, you will have your best chance of winning as the guy lies on the floor clutching his groin in agony. Unless you are fighting against Master Wei Yao Bin, who has perfected something known as Iron Crotch, this master trains his students in how to withstand blows to the nether regions and not feel the pain anymore. Apparently, it can even help with sexual health, although being ritually kicked in the balls every day for years to build resistance seems kind of like it might have the opposite effect. But I'll take Master Wei's word for it. He says, I have learned this kung fu skill since I turned 67 years old. I think it is good for my health. I insist on doing it every day. I believe it builds up resistance, and I have got less fever and cold than before. Well, you be you, Mr. Shaolin Master. What crazy Shaolin training would you have included on our list? Do you have what it takes to become a Shaolin Master? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.